Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Stalker Gamma. See a little bit of an old face this time. We are back with Reggie the Renegade, our boy from, uh, I think my safe file said August 28th. It's been a while, guys. I'm sorry <laughs> about good old Reggie here, but we're back. Reggie is back. And with that said, we're going to do just, you know, we're going to be playing the video game, right? So what are we doing? That's a great question. I'm not really sure what we did last time however we have a lot of things to take care of in dark valley right that's the way i'm thinking we also have to see uh, griffith in um outskirts which i don't know about you but i still have a pbsh <laughs> so we're not going to be doing that for a little while we have a lot of things to do i am going to try my best not to turn in um eviction notice i think it is i don't know really what i want to do um my Renegade playthrough is more or less just kind of, you know, I don't know how to say it. You know, it's not, Unisig has its own quest line. Renegade and Bandit and all that don't really have one. So, honestly, it's going to be a give or take, you know, more or less casual playthrough. Renegade, I'll be obviously playing for, you know, the whole point of, um... I'm sorry, I don't know if I said Renegade or Unisig. Unisig, I'm playing, wanting to do like the Unisig quest line and go north early. Renegade, Reggie, my boy here. I'm kind of planning on having him just take over the zone. That's like, I want to do what I wanted to do with my monolith and sin run. And that's take over the zone, essentially. I want to take over the zone. So that's what I'm hoping to try and do with this boy. So what are we doing? I think it's in our best interest to try to go back to uh, Dark Valley, and that unfortunately means we have to go through the uh, great joy of, you know, Truck Cemetery again, but what are you going to do, right? So we have a lot of quests to take care of. Let me actually check my uh, task log real quick, or task board rather, see if there's anything. Uh, I could do that. I could do that because you know the more stashes the better right no, I need my tools all right and that's a follower one I believe nice nice in an army warehouse stash cool <laughs> that's easy okay they're in eh, it's not really worth it we're just gonna head back to truck cemetery So, for anyone new to the channel, because there's probably new people to the channel uh, from my Unisig videos. Um, this is the second most recent playthrough, aside from Unisig, I've done, which is my Renegade Iron Man that I've had going up until now. And this right here is my the beautiful gun that has kept me alive this entire time, the PPSH. And recently, a fixed-up Chimera Hunter. Holy shit, is this thing a badass piece of work. We're doing good on money. But what we need most of all are parts for guns and an upgrade. I love the PPSH. It's beautiful. It gets the job done. I would just like a better gun. I'm not trying to disrespect the Lord and Savior, the PPSH, but... You know, a higher caliber round would be pretty damn good. That's all I'm trying to say. So yeah, with all that said, we're just going to get back to Dark Valley, turn in some quests, get some more, and do our thing. Here we are in the darkest of valleys. Not the... I'm making a Dark Valley joke, and I'm not even in Dark Valley. I'm in Truck Cemetery. Here we are in the truckest of cemeteries. I don't fucking know. <laughs> uh... Alright, so we're going to treat this like any other truck cemetery run I do. It's anecdote time, ladies and gentlemen. So, I recently just hit 1,100 subscribers. Boys and girls of the zone, I can't thank you enough. You thought just because I hit 1,000 subscribers that I wouldn't be mentioning all my other milestones that, oh, 1,100 ain't that big of a deal, I have already have 1,000. Hell no. I look at every milestone as a big deal. Oh, storm picked up. 
I look at every milestone as a big deal. Every 10 subscribers, I feel immense satisfaction, and I have so much care and appreciation for all of you. You have no idea, all right? Are you serious? What the <laughs> Okay. I guess I'll walk around. The community I've formed through you guys, honestly, has been amazing. And if you haven't already, um, join the Discord. I can't say I'll be as, you know, active as, you know, all day, every day, constantly talking, but I'm in there. I'm around. I'm hanging out. If you want to ask me a question or, you know, hang out or do something, you're more than welcome to. Zero qualms with that. But yeah, honestly, um, you guys mean the world to me. I know I say it all the time. I must be a broken record at this point with how much I talk about it. I'm missing followers again. <laughs> oh, there they are. They're catching up. But I mean it. Truly. I, if I have, if there's a thumbs up and a heart next to your comment, I have read it. I don't just do it. I don't just scroll down every comment. Heart click, heart click, heart click. You know what I mean? I don't do that. I read the comment. If you do not have a heart and a thumbs up next to your comment, I have not read it. I guess the only exception is that if it's like a nasty comment or a negative comment or, you know, something like that, I might reply to it without leaving, you know, a like or I might see it and be like, eh, whatever, you know. I won't, like, delete comments or hide them or whatever. You're free to criticize. You're free to say whatever you want about me. In fact, I encourage it. If you, if you have a problem with anything I do, anything I say, go ahead and mention it to me. I take all my criticism to heart. I mean, and I, oh, here's another one. Look at this. Let me view these real quick. Okay, that's nothing, but let me view this one. And a stash. Look at that. In radar. Fuck you, radar. Anyways, there, there you go. A guy was talking to me. He's like, Zed, you do realize you can click view on PDAs to get stashes, right? And I was like, yeah, I do. I did it all the time in my loner playthrough. I did it all the time in my, you know, solo freedom playthrough. I did it all the time in my uh, brief duty playthrough. Yes, believe it or not, I did do a duty playthrough of this video game um, before, you know, recording it. But I thought to myself as I was, like, writing my reply... I haven't been doing that in almost any of my videos. I don't think I've done it in a single one of my videos. I've been just selling the PDAs, or I've been just disassembling them. And I was like, wow, I can't believe I forgot something like that. And something I used to do meticulously. I used to collect like five, six PDAs on me all at once, and then mass sell them after viewing all of them. Like, de-encrypting de them. I listen to what you guys say. What you guys said have determined a few things that I've done, and... You know, just general advice. I listen to it all. So, do not be a stranger. If you want to say something, say it. I'll read it. I'll take it to heart. I'll consider it. If you ask me for my home address, like like one, one of you guys did, I'll give you the same answer as I will keep giving. It's Army Warehouses in the Zone in Ukraine. That is my home address. Ah, uh, here we go. Now, okay, can I- I'm gonna say the joke now that it's- it's appropriate. The darkest of valleys. Hey, I said it. Wow, amazing. I love whenever it has, like, snowstorms like this. It looks beautiful. I love Inverno. At this point, I'm like the Inverno guy, right? Like, I- early on, I- I posed the question, like, Hey, you know, would you guys like to not see Inverno anymore? And everyone was like, no, keep Inverno. And I was like, you know what, I'm fine with being the Inverno guy. I really like Inverno. It is such a good way to play this video game. Job's done, brother. Hey! Nice. Ukrainian beer! I'm gonna drink that, actually, because it's a food item. It's not like the vodka. Oh, my arms again. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Okay. My guns look fine. Okay, I think it's just... It's nothing. Alright, cool. One second. The radio's off in here, right? Just making sure. Alright. Yeah, I turned the radios off. Now that I'm monetized, the copyright system has been like, Hey, you have like 10 seconds of this one song you've never heard of in your life. And I'm like, okay. 
And then there was uh, House of the Rising Sun that I had to edit out in one of my videos. All right. Oh yeah, this I forgot I had this. This is a gun I want to start uh, get fixed up so I can use it. This gun rips and shreds stalkers. Same thing with this pistol. This pistol is just a good sidearm to have. One good thing about the PPSH is that it uses very specific ammo that will almost never coincide with another gun. I didn't mean to do that. Speaking of which, I should repair this thing. Oh my god. You guys have let it, been letting me get away with not repairing this? You out of your mind? There we go. Gotta keep that thing in tip-top shape, man. You're telling me I don't... When did I get this vodka? Holy crap. This is like the best vodka in the game. Um, I'm just looking right now. So we got upgrades last time because I have my basic tools. If you missed it, you know, go check out the previous video. I think I'll put it in the top right of this video, you know, something like that. Um, I got the camping backpack. Uh, I wanted to get the other backpack, but then I remembered, you know, it's advanced tools, which is what it is, right? I can make advanced tools, but that's unrealistic. I, I probably have a better chance of finding advanced tools. Um, this, by the way, I might as well have just mentioned this real quick. This milspec PDA is a mod, like an additional mod that's not part of Gamma, like usually. Same thing with these thermal goggles. I know it shows the recipe here. I'm not going to be doing this. I need the 3.1 uh, kill track PDA anyways and expert tools, but I'm going to have to find the recipe i'm not just gonna keep it there i don't think it's i don't think it's that fun i just wanted to point that out um <clears throat> anyways what was i going to do right so let's collect some jobs as per usual and let's turn in the jobs that i have to turn in oh i'm thirsty my character's thirsty Boo fucking who <laughs> yodeling i need my drugs uh, don't take that out of context. I can give you some canned corn. I can give you some plastic jars. Ah, uh, no. You th any most missions or tasks rather that ask for patches. If you're unfamiliar, they will nine times out of ten give you an artifact, if not always. I'm I artifacts are nice, you know. I'm not saying they're not, but at the moment, I don't need need any. So, I'm going to hoard my patches like a little gremlin. Oh, both these guys. Nice. Job is done. Look, I don't care about the reward. This is stupid. I care about the, the stash. That's Ooh, why I do it. Two stashes. Oh, dark skate. Dark skate. Why? Don't tell me it's a gold. Okay, it's not. <laughs> Look how far in it is. Oh, God. Those of you who've been watching my Unisig, you know how Darkscape is, even with the car. <laughs> even with the car. All right, Squire's driven off his farm. Stalker elimination. I, 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 can't, I can't turn this in. Okay, we're going to go back to the farm and we're going to murder some people. Typical bandit things. But no, yeah, I have a uh, complete... Oh. Oh, son of a fucking bitch. That's military over there, I think. But where? Holy crap. There's no windows in here. This is an awkward ass place to get into a conver uh, conversation into a gunfight. Clear sky. That's unexpected. Definitely, definitely a little strange. Ooh, that gun. I hear a gun that doesn't sound that fun. Hmm, I, I'm not in a good spot here. Oh no, we gotta go inside, like now. Oh no! Yeah, let's put aside our differences. God 
damn it. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, just get my stamina. Alright. Okay, we're good. Alright, two times. Two times in my Renegade playthrough, I have had to wait out in a mission here. In the middle of a firefight, too. That sucks. Um, unless anything interesting happens, I'm going to just cut the emission completely out because it takes too long and it's very loud. Um, if I get attacked, if anyone dies, I'll leave it in. But besides that, I'll see you when the emission's over. Alright, emission's over. Um, I, during the emission... Where is it? I got unforeseen guests finally. So now uh, my disguises are even better, which is great because I'm not going to lie, all of my Renegade playthrough is going to be in disguise. <laughs> and if you have a problem with it, go watch my Unisig playthrough. I do not put on a disguise in, uh, in that one at all. No clear sky? Did they all die? A oh, personal journal. There. Oh, there's a place to sleep here. I didn't even know that. That's weird. All right, well, I guess the clear sky are dead. That's good. But how and where? Because I don't see any bodies. Unless the emission blew them up. Let's see. Ooh. SA-58. That's my favorite weapon. Unfortunately, it's not a good position to, you know. Ooh, that's good. Look at this thing. Oh, damaged barrel, but it's a Type A. Not bad, actually. Man, it's loud. Nice. Oh shit. All right. Well, I have my first artifact, quote unquote. There's a man over here, I think. There's an enemy. But where? Someone's aggroed at somebody. Or at least was. Anyways, before I go on, I'm going to get the stash that's somewhere in here. Look at this. Aw, oh, too bad it's not in good condition. That sucks. This is cool. Yeah, that's actually really cool. I'll take that. Freedom is a great disguise to have. Not just because I love freedom, <laughs> but it just is a good disguise. Who is here? Is it another clear sky? And where? All right, well, first of all, put this in here. Do I have another, I have outfits. Well, I have this, well, this isn't really good for combat though. It's like a secondary weapon, but I do have this. 
I I'll compare the two, like, when I get a chance. Is that a... That's probably a bird, but still, we're... There's a fight happening over here, I think. No idea. Whatever. No. Alright, well, let's go this way. Oh, and I might as well say it in this video. I was thinking about making a post on it. I'm going to be honest, probably to the dismay of a few of you. I am not really big on... Who was that? Oh, those are bandits. Fighting who? I don't know. I'm not really big on um, EFP, if I'm being honest. It, it just, it, I don't know. It just doesn't feel like my cup of tea. Maybe I just haven't played enough of it. One day, one day it'll happen. But no, I, um, I'm not really big on it. I, I can't explain it. It just, it's a little weird. I feel like you die way more easier than you do in Gamma, and that is saying something, first of all. That is really saying something. Um, I don't know, it, and there's also like double, sometimes it feels like triple the amount of enemies. And it just feels overwhelming at times. It's like, my god. You know, I was barely able to start with anything, and I feel like the game is just unrelenting. It's like, it borderlines on like, okay, you know. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I wasted some PST. What do you want from me? It was either that or take damage. I'd rather waste the ammo. You can always buy ammo. Sure, you can always buy healing, but it's more expensive. <laughs> yeah, but um, if you want, if you if you're listening to this right now, um, if you want me to do a, a bandit redo, but in gamma instead, I th I'm more than happy to do that. I just don't know. I, I played EFP. I even played it on my own after and uh, before a stream, just on my own time. And I don't know. I just it's not it's not meshing with me as well as like Gamma does. There's also a few other mods I wanted to play of Stalker as well. Some comedy ones. Just not only Gamma. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a big fan of Stalker in general. Like I love Stalker. I wanted to play the original trilogy again. It has been so many years since I've played the original trilogy, it's almost a crime. So I wanted to redo it, but on my channel, like, properly. That's another thing about, uh, the PBSH. You do not have to worry about your magazine running out. <laughs> there is some battling going on over there, I hear that. Suppressed shots. Oh. You might be mad at me. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> I don't... I can't tell. I'm just gonna move up. Oh, no, no! God damn it! Okay, we're back. Yep, that... Pretend that didn't happen. You look past it, I'll look past it. Sound good? Alright, cool. Anyways... Hey, look, we're at this place again. Causing more mayhem as per usual. We're good. This is going to be like Groundhog Day with coming to this farm and murdering everyone in it over and over and over again. Uh, They're like fighting. Are they fighting someone other than me? They are. PBSH has such good iron sights compared to the Thompson. 
I I am a I am a Thompson hater now. God damn. Son of a bitch. My leg, ow. God damn. <laughs> My guy going in there like I'm coming to fucking get your ass. Moving up. Well, oh, stalker elimination and turf war. Look at that. Actually, hold on. Let me uh fix up the good old leg. Do I have ibuprofen? I don't. All right, Yodelin it is then. Um, I'm not going to use another Yodelin. I'm going to deal with it. And I'm also going to drink a normal coffee. Or a brewed coffee. It'll kick me out of the Yodelin effect instantly. Look at that. Coffee it kicks you out of any effect like that near instantly. It is so good. So useful. Alright, since I'm low on that, I'll switch to this ammo. So yeah, there was mercs here. And because there was mercs here... Timeout. That's a good gun. For, for, for this point in the game? Th that's worth taking, actually. I can make a repair kit for that. What's that? Boar pelt? Holy shit. Yeah, brother. Hold on. I'll take that. Is, but is it better than... Hmm. Has stamina recovery. That's pretty good, stamina recovery. The rupture and the impact is so low. Yeah, I think this might... The flesh pelt might be a little better. I'll take it. I'm a lot more spray and pray, pray with my uh, PPSH for obvious reasons. Uh, it's kind of the whole point of the gun, if I'm being honest. Oh, nice. Good. Ooh. You know what's funny? Whenever I find this specific gun, almost all the parts on it are as awful as you can get. Almost every single time, without fail. Okay, well... Oh, nice. Take that, take that. I want to fix up that ADAR. Sure, it's semi-automatic, but it's 5.56. Five, 5.56 six. Five, five, six isn't the best round in the game. I've said this before, but... It's not a bad round, you know? It's not awful. It just could be better. But still, um, okay. Thought a size storm or something was happening. Oh my god. But anyways, what was I saying? Um, there we go. Ooh, a car ninety-eight with a good barrel. Are you sure? Holy crap. Okay. Well, I'll definitely take that. Oh, how many? Shit, shit, shit. Mutants or stalkers? Dogs, not really a mutant, but you know what I mean. Blind dog. Nice job. Okay! Holy shit! You hear this guy? 
He's unloaded his whole magazine. He's still going. Guy has an Ash 12, it looks like. Or whatever the equivalent name in this game is. Dude, my bandit followers know how to hit their shots. Like, holy crap. Bandits, brother. <laughs> Bandits. I got like a kill squad with me. Oh yeah, by the way, this is uh, someone was asking me what the effects of Inverno do. They also add icy uh, water that have a slight sliding effect. It's actually really cool. Alright, so we're gonna turn in some jobs, make a lot of money. I think I mentioned I wanted to get fix up some stuff last episode, or I think it might have been the episode before that. I have to rewatch, check myself. You're a good guy, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I agree with you, 100%. Alright, let's see. See, uh, stalker elimination and eviction notice. Which one is going to be turned in first? That's the question. That is the question. Nice. 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 Wait, that was mob hit. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. It literally waits. It keeps these guys as the last quest to turn in. Oh my god. Look at my money, brother. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. And I'm still not done. Oh, I almost made the rookie mistake. Let's go this way. You still have more things to turn in. Dude, we're making money. We are making bank. I'm gonna I'm about to title every Renegade episode so far. Making money, part one. Making money, part two. Making money, part three. Making big money. <laughs> Look at the oh my god, the amount of money. Holy crap. Look at my funds right now as a rookie stalker. And you know what? Hey, um, oh, I'm wrong person. I need to turn in, uh, the PDAs to the mechanic because I already viewed them. Well, actually, I can t rip them apart for parts. I don't really, I don't need the money right now, so. There we go. Good parts, good parts. All right, let's check a few things. Okay, the NATO, um, what is that? The NATO gas tube he has for sale. Now they're usually expensive, I will say that though. They are pretty expensive typically, the parts that they sell. Like look, see that's seven grand just for a gas tube. Now, not expensive relative to the money I have right now, but just in general. Oh, the storm picked back up. It's kind of sudden. Um, type B cleaning kit too, so I'll be able to, you know, clean it. Oh, I was found out. Wow, I don't really care. I was found out. That's kind of crazy. Hold on. I have a key bind for removing and putting on my patch. So if you're, you gotta kind of just keep doing it until it tells you you're now a member of um, insert faction name here, you know what I mean? So. It's very weird. You literally just have to like stand around a corner 
but I'm still kind of open. If I go up here, I think I might be fine. I'm not sure. It's it's weird how the system works. So you've been seen recently. Everyone remembers you. You have to be like inside or completely by yourself. But I don't know what that entails, especially where I'm standing right now. See, you've been seen recently. I think if I just like, okay, I got to leave this building. It's not a big deal because bandits are fine with renegades, but having the bandit disguise is just good in general for other factions that are okay with bandits. Maybe this building? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe downstairs. Yeah, down here should work. Far away from pretty much everyone. Is it because of my followers? No, it can't be because they're not even with me. It's not where Usually, I've, I'm able to walk, like, around a corner. I think I've even done it before. Yeah, it's strange how, like, no matter what I seem to do, I can't put back on my disguise. Anyways, we know what the... Oh, I just made that. You saw that? No, I just Uh, I'm coming in here to get my leg fixed. It's cheaper that way. Ну типа привет. Just so I have a good leg, so I run at full speed. That's all. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. No. <laughs> Of course. All right, one second. Look, can I do it here? It's weird because, like, usually I'm able to do it in places you wouldn't expect. Yeah, see, look, with this outfit, most stalkers, and now I'm back in disguise. See, it's it's that simple. It's it's weird. It's just finicky. Um. So with that said. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to go to my stash to see what uh. You know, what parts I have. Nothing. I have no parts. Oh, wait a minute. What are the parts I have on me? I have two. Okay, so I have... Um... The... Gas tube, and I have the trigger. Yeah. So I have two parts. So I can make a repair kit. Because the basic tools let you make an A and a B repair kit. So I just need steel wool, the... 40 and higher gunpowder and a type B cleaning kit. I could do that. I could totally do that. I could repair my car, uh, car 98 as well. I'm pressing the wrong button over and over again. It's really annoying me. <laughs> Anyways, I can make a steel wool and fasteners to make the cleaning kit. That'll save me some money, but I might not have enough steel wool to actually craft it though so i need four and i have one and i believe the trader only sells four so i might have to buy the cleaning kit i'm not worried i have plenty of money right now i'm just you got a nickel and dime in this game it's like what you actually have to do let's see steel wool yeah only four i can do that so buy that buy that and buy Oh, does he not have... No, yeah, he does. I, I just bought it. Um, what else am I trying to buy? Oh, yeah, the bee cleaning kit. I'm so stupid. All right. There we go. Now, pressing the wrong button again. What is new? All right. So, see, look at that real quick. It says four out of five, right? I need four charges out of five to craft this. So, just to make it a little better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that cleaning kit. And, see, look, I can only do these two. Right? Ugh, I'm so fucking dumb. I was like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. And I realized I put my 8R away. I want to bring it up a little bit for free, essentially. So let me see. There we go. Now, the car 98, I'm not too worried about. Um, really good ammo, but again, you got to hit your shots and... On this difficulty and against some of the amount of stalkers I'm facing, I might die. So I'm going to save that next. I'm going to repair this first. So use this. Use this. And I don't know. Use 
Like this, for example. Industrial grease. There we go. And now, I can still make this. See? You make... Because it's going to use uh, four out of four anyway, so you'll still have one left. But the thing is, is that if you do it beforehand, it just equals out a little bit better. It's like an OCD thing, I guess, for me. So I just made that now. Okay. So, first things first. He is selling a part, and I have a part. So we're going to field strip the trigger. And I'm going to put the... Just to make it simple, actually. I'm going to equip it, just so it's easy. <laughs> there we go. So, th these iron sights are like M4 iron sights. They're not that good, but I can put a sight on them. Which makes them good. And then when I'm able to get 5.56, five, I have a gun that shoots 5.56. Five, five, is the... You know, it's like... The concept right all right so anyways buy this and another thing i want to mention that's important say i find a better gun now i have all the parts for like an m4 type build in my adar that i can use again it's not just only for this gun that's the beauty of this game So, sure, this benefits me in the short term, but it also benefits me in the long term as well. That's something you have to consider. Oop, I'm using it the wrong way. So, you can maintain parts, and you can replace all these. We're only going to do the bolt the barrel and the bolt carrier. So, do the barrel first, obviously. Do the bolt carrier, and do the bolt. And there we go. An easy way to remember that, by the way, for anyone newer to the game, if it says replace... That means it is um, below 60%. If it says clean, uh, that means it's above, meaning that you know you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't waste your repair kit on cleaning the parts. It's not a good thing to do it whatsoever. It's a waste, in fact. Another good thing, I have gunsmithing uh, tools. What that means is I can make my own 5.56 as well. Anyways, let's see. I also have this uh, Remington I would like to fix up, and I could just make another B kit. Oh, no, I don't. That, the whole point is the Chimera Hunter, and I think that's way better. I had a use of a Type B repair kit. I can't believe that. I forgot about that. Man, see what happens when you stop playing the game for a little while. See what see what goes on. See what, see what happens. It's wild. Um, so what's the deal? I think, first of all, put this away. I said put this away. Oh, never mind. There we go. Okay, I thought I was losing my mind for a second. Okay. First of all, so now we have that. There's some 5.56 five, uh, right there. Now, the real question, though, that I'm having with myself is, do I really want to... Um, what's it called? I'll keep the steel wool for crafting, actually. I think that's a better idea. Do I really want to switch 100% to the ADAR? The PPSH is good for a lot of reasons, especially ammo availability. It makes the gun great, in fact. Absolutely stellar. I think I'll put that pistol away as well, just for now. Alright, and I, I gotta sell, like, the suppressors that I realistically don't need. Anyways... So if I switch to the ADAR, I have the ADAR and the Chimera Hunter, and the ADAR does have better ammo for all situations, essentially. Um, and better accuracy, all that good stuff. But it's semi-auto, so close range, it's going to be a little more difficult to handle people. Which is a genuine, you know, concern and a genuine problem, 100%. But it's like pros and cons. The, the, the pros with that outweigh the cons is the question I have to ask myself. I'll use the wire spool, actually. It's better, in a way. Um, uh, I'll preemptively fix up the gas mask. I really don't care that much. Use the, use the cloth. There we go. Just to keep it tip-top shape, that's all. PPSH ammo is really readily available. It is practically everywhere. Um, 5.56, five, I can't say the same. As you can see, all the ammo I've collected right now, I don't even have a full magazine of 5.56 for my AR. It's a good bullet, though. 
It is. For example, AP, uh, 52 pen, 35 damage. It's badass. 24, 21 for the best damaging, the best pen for PST. But the thing is, it's a 71 round magazine, right? So it's one of those things where it's like, you don't really need to care too much about that fact because it's so strong. Um, so what we'll do is we'll open up our little workbench, get to our ammo, find 556 five, FMJ. We're not going to touch hollow point, honestly. Um, FMJ is fine, honestly, because 27 pen, that, that's a good, good amount. So look, see, we have plenty of stuff. We just crafted some ammo. And that's how you do it. Now, if you're wondering, um, people don't know this. And it kind of, it, it surprised me. I'm not going to say it surprised me. But definitely, like, made me raise an eyebrow. Because it, it makes so much sense off, like, you know, just off the bat or whatever. It makes so much sense when I figured it out. Let me show you. Say you're struggling to find ammo parts for your guns. Like, oh, I need this specific ammo. I can't even craft it because I don't have, like, the small bore bullets or, you know, something, right? Let me give you an idea. So let me go. I think I have some here. I have guns that are 545 that I don't believe, at least at the moment, I'm going to be able to repair. Uh, you know, that's that's later, right? So what I'll do is I'll find any 545. Like, look, 545 hollow point, 545 FMJ. Take those. Now, where is it? Right here. You can right click on them and click disassemble. And you g it gives you the ammo parts. And it does it in intervals of 15. If you have like 19, it'll do four and then 15. That's just how it works. There you go. Now I go back to my ammo kit. I go to FMJ and now look, I can make even more bullets. And there we go. Look at the amount of FMJ I now have for this gun, just from crafting. That's how it works. It's really useful. It is insanely useful. So now I have a gun with decent pen and decent damage and a suppressor, because why not? <laughs> so what I'll do is I'll start putting stuff away again. Um, no, nah, I'll put all that away. I think that's a good idea. Uh, hell. Um, dash management, the video game. What do you expect? It's stalker. What is better? The duty suit? Okay, I'm going to look at the important stuff. Okay, ballistic, 13%. BR, 36. Hmm. I'm thinking the duty suit might be the better disguise, but army warehouses, army warehouses is going to be such a pain in the fucking ass. And I won't be friends with the bandits anymore. That's another thing. At least, okay, with freedom, I'm, I'm friends with the bandits and I don't have to worry about ripping off my patch, especially out in the, out in the wild. Um, it's a better armor. It is. Not by a whole lot, right? Like, not by a ton, but it is. But I'm gonna be honest with you. I think I might get rid of it. I think I might. Call me crazy. You're allowed. You've always been allowed. I still can't put this in here. It's 11 kilograms? You're out of your goddamn mind. That thing is a heavy piece of shit. Oh my, look how stickler it is. <laughs> it is so stickler. There we go. 70 exact. Now. Oh, how stupid was that? These hammers actually weigh way too much, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Assemble those. If you play casual stalker, this is just how you play the game. Like, you, you're going to be doing this. If it's boring, just skip ahead to something that looks more interesting, I guess. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick that shit up. Okay. Now put all the ammo I don't need away. 
there, I'm gonna have some guy in the comments section like, why, uh, why did you fix up the ADR? You should have fixed up this gun instead. You're an idiot. And I, I'll probably, I'll probably agree with you, but I'll also probably ask you nicely and not be so mean about it. <laughs> um, I think I'll keep the PPSH on me for now as a backup weapon. I'm not 100% confident to go sprinting out there with just the uh, ADR as like a primary weapon. So I think that's what I'll do. I have enough space where I can justify it. Um, and I'll make use out of my followers to carry the hammers. Anything else? Look at all the stashes I have. Oh. It, it, you know, it's garbage, right? I'm not expecting a, a miracle. Are they underground? They're underground, those idiots. I'm not expecting a miracle, but by God, would it be nice to, uh, you know. Actually, I have an idea. Are you ready for this? PPSH loaded with these rounds as my mutant killer, and I'll save the Chimera Hunter for uh, big mutants. So you, for example, buddy boy, hold my hammers. Now, wait again. I'll buy some more hunting rounds, and we'll go get the yellow stash and probably call it a video. Oh, supply level 3, by the way. So I'm able to buy a whole lot more. That's great. Um, I need to start doing more, uh, more jobs for, like, freedom, so I'm able to get a uh, steady supply of 556. Five, Maybe even start helping out the mercs, you know? I want a headlamp. I want to be able to go out at night without dying, like, immediately, essentially. Alright, so we'll have... I need a set. Yeah. I need to have three my main weapon. That's just how my brain works, and I need to have two my secondary. Oh my god. There we go. Keep that in. PSD will be a backup, and this will be my main person killer. I'm not crafting AP. AP costs more to craft. And AP is more realistically for, like, really heavily armored stalkers and exo guys. FMJ does the work, especially against stalkers at this part of the zone. Does more than enough. Especially 5.56. Five, the game, and at this point, like, Garbage, Cordon, um, Dark Valley, Darkscape, Meadow. You know, they, they expect you to have small arms. So having 5.56 five, FMJ is more than enough. Obviously, the roaming group of mercs and rare roaming unisig and all that is a... It's real. It's a problem. You know, they could throw you off, but... You know, if the PPSH has done me well this far, the ADR is going to do me fine, if not better. It also helped me choose my shots a little bit more carefully. And I'll just craft my ammo, at least for now. I have the PPSH with me. I'll use it as, like, a mutant killer. And I'm still good on, like, 20 kilograms. That's withholding all this vodka, by the way, that I forgot to drop off. And all this shit as well. Uh, the five chocolate protein bars. Oh, my God. Let's go get this stash. Oh, what the fuck's going on here? Nice punch. Dude, this is what I walk into to garbage? Nice lurker kill, by the way, boys. I'll give it to you. That was impressive. Man, they're really making me work for this yellow stash, aren't they? Hey, good thing I had my PPSH. I'm not walking to loot that body. I'll area transition immediately. Well, that was a little scary. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, they're being attacked by freedom? Say no more, brother. I'm on my way. Yellow Stash can wait. Let's get into a fight before the end of the video. Fuck it. Game's losing its mind. 
Good thing about these traders too is you can trade with them. They don't they're not hostile. It's a really nice thing to to know. So let me not get ahead of myself. Let's make sure I'm clear. There we go. Probably still some duty somewhere over there. Gotta be careful. It doesn't matter if it's 1%, Dura, Cloth, Synth, whatever. All of it's good. brother they also sell artifacts I think it's the one place in the game that sells artifacts it's actually kind of funny um you don't have anything I want do you I'll buy a little bit of that just to replenish what I shot earlier how's my water water's fine um I'm gonna just give you all that just get get out of my inventory honestly <laughs> um cool What a dickhead. Look at him standing there all cocksure of himself. One second. <laughs> My god. Notice how, like, they auto me and I die. <laughs> like, I, they just hold the trigger and, and you just get your ass killed. It's, it's frustrating. Alright, alright. Dude, holy shit, they do not miss. Damn. Guess they are cocksure and full of themselves, huh? What do you mean my disguise can be discovered? I'm a bandit. There is no disguise to discover. No way. No way. Man down. Where is this guy? He's shooting through the trees. Come on, man. Oh, I see him. Barely see him. Yeah, I don't care. Leave. That it? We lost one. Damn. That that's a little sore. That is definitely a little sore. Those shots I, I was making at first, I thought they were I thought they were alright, you know. I didn't think I was fucking up that bad. Alright, well I need to heal. Use another yodeling. My arm's not gonna be in good shape at all, but I need something. Okay, this guy didn't really have anything, luckily, and he was a pistol guy, so there's a there's a silver lining, so. Alright. Uh the sausage. Cool. Oh, I'll take that I guess. Alright, let's go get this stash. We're down a man, that kind of sucks. I think one of them is a bring me here follower and the others are for eviction notice. I wanted some action before the end of the video. That's my fault, but I'll own it. That's fine. I like fighting in this game. I don't care. It has really kicked my goddamn ass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 
was worth it. It was well. Look at these. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. There we go. It was all worth it. <laughs> it literally was. Advanced tools. Advanced tools, brothers. And garbage out of all places. Technically like the second area of the zone if you want to look at it like that. Hell yeah, that is huge progression. Fuck the ADAR after, after all that work. We can now fix up our 545 guns and not have ammo for them. But it's fine. Because <laughs> we can buy ammo for them. Well, we're going to call it there. Oh my god. What a good episode. What a good comeback episode. This one's coming out pretty late. Probably coming around like 1am EST. My bad. Things happen. You know, life, life happens. But thank you all so much for 1100 subscribers. It means the world to me. Um, I, I say it like it's a broken record, but I really mean it. And look, dude, it, the, so much luck and fun with Unisig. Now look at this with, with back to Reggie. Just making a shit ton of money. You know, getting advanced tools with a yellow stash and garbage. Like, no way. <laughs> I got my ADAR, which, you know, it's, it's good. It's good. I like it. Still got my PPSH, got my Camara Hunter just in case. But yeah, Reggie's back. I'm going to be uh, mainly uploading Unisig with uh, occasional Reggie episodes or Renegade episodes, uh, sp you know, spliced in there just to keep it going. So yeah, with that said, everybody, it's been me. Have a great day, night, and evening. I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. We got more Unisig. We got more Renegade. We got more fun stuff. And I'm going to do that Q&A like I told you. So with that said, everybody, have a great rest of your day, night, and evening. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.